I just wanted to get out on the road. And it was a funny thing because when I was 14, I, I'd started sort of playing the clubs around London, you know, um, at the pubs and working man's clubs and stuff like that, you know, and doing a short sort of 10 minute stint, you know, and getting a tenner for it or something, you know, and it was, it was, uh, it was great. And I did a, what's called a shop window at the Feathers pub in Googe Street in London. And uh, this agent was there from a holiday camp called Sunshine Holiday Camp, which was down in Hailing Island. And uh, he said I'd, to my dad, I'd like to book this lab. When does he leave school? My dad said, well, you know, in a few months' time. He said, right, he's got the job. And I was going to just go down to Sunshine Holiday Camp and sit on a bar stool and play, you know. And uh, so I left school at 15, and six weeks later, I kind of packed my bags and I went off into the big wide world and uh, I never I never really came back I've and I've still have, I've never been back you know I went out on the road and this was in what would it have been 48 58 62 and uh, I've, I've never 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 been back well I I used to go out and buy a lot of records in those days which I don't now but I mean the record shop was so romantic then you know you go into that little booth and put the cans on and you get all the records in the lovely little coloured sleeves and it was something you know that you could hold and take home with you and it was I used to find that great and I like people like Johnny Tillotson and Mark Winter and Susan Morn um, even Lulu was around at that time Cliff Richard Lonnie Donegan, um, the 6-5 special, you know, with um, uh, Don Lang and the Frantic Five, and I just loved all that. I was looking at some footage of it the other night, and it was just amazing. And that just fired me up, you know, I wanted to do all that. I, I, I just wanted to, to be a part of it all, and whether I was going to be or not, I, I, you know, I had no idea, but that was my plan, you know, not listened at school. I only had one hope left, unless I was going to be, you know, a dustman or a bricklayer or whatever I was going to be. Um, but I, I, you know, if I hadn't have been successful in in uh, in what I'm doing, God knows what I would have done.